Welcome to the Checkpoint Certified Security Administrator course. In this particular module, we are going to take a look at threat prevention. So we're going to see how to enable the antivirus blade, how to enable the antibot blade, the IPS threat emulation and threat extraction. So let's log in to the lab. At the end of this particular module, we are going to run this test again. Okay, so to enable our blades, we'll have to click on the gateway. We'll come to threat prevention. We'll select IPS. Now, your IPS is actually used to protect the organization from network-based attacks so it can protect your servers your endpoints and everything it can protect them from network-based attacks and malware and many more so when we'll check that we'll select according to threat prevention policy it's really advisable that you select share anonymous attack information with checkpoints Threat Cloud now. Checkpoint Threat Cloud is actually an intelligence gathering portal where all the latest threats are being updated. So we'll click on OK. We're going to turn on Antibots. The Antibots is used to prevent communication between infected systems and remote command and control servers. So we'll check this. Then we'll also check antivirus. Antivirus is used to protect the network from malware, from viruses, worms, and many more, from trojans and, and the rest. Okay, so having enabled all these three options, the next thing that we would do would be to... Okay, so we'll come to antibot and antivirus, as you can see. The activation mode is according to policy. We want to support the global community by sharing attack data with Checkpoint Threat Cloud. This is going to be anonymized. Okay, so having done this, the next thing that we'll do will be to check IPS. So for IPS, the activation mode is according to policy. We have the option to select detect only. In such a case, it becomes an intrusion detection system. But then we do not want to detect only. Rather, we want it to be according to policy. Now, if, if you want, you can choose between security and availability. Okay, so what happens when your firewall is under load, like the RAM, the CPU usage and everything is so high? Do you want to keep on inspecting all traffic, performing IPS inspection? Like, do you want to inspect every single traffic or you want to bypass the firewall under heavy load? Well, it all depends on you. You might choose to bypass IPS inspection when your firewall is under heavy load. And then you come to advanced and then you can set the threshold. Okay, that for example, if your CPU goes above, okay, um, if, um, if the CPU goes above 90%, IPS is going to be bypassed, meaning that IPS will no longer work until the CPU comes down to 70. Same thing with your memory. So if your RAM usage is above 90%, IPS is bypassed. Well, it all depends on what you want to do. Okay, so it's up to you. But for me, I wouldn't check this because I prefer security at all times. Okay, but if you prefer availability or you want to strike a balance between the two of them, then you can select that option. Okay, so for this, I want the gateway to automatically update the IPS protections. If you want, you can select the option that says use management updates so that you have to manually update this. 
Okay, so having done this, I'll click on OK. Then I'll come to my security policy. And then I'll come down I'll come down to where I have threat prevention. So for threat prevention, I'll come to custom policy. And then you can see my policy for threat prevention. Okay, I can choose to give this a name. I can call this my my TP policy. So TP stands for threat prevention. Okay, um, for the protected scope, I can leave it as any. I can just to protect an access rule, I can choose to protect everybody. So I'm, I'm going to leave this as any. Then for the action, now you have several actions. You have basic protections, strict and optimized. Okay. Now, ideally, before creating policies, we should create a profile first. So profiles before policy. Okay, so we're going to apply the profile in a policy. So we'll come down to profiles. And when we come down to profiles, we can see basic, optimize and strict. For basic, well, you have basic protection, optimize is normal, and then strict is like the highest level. So we're going to clone. So let's clone the strict. Okay, so let's give it a name. We'll call this our test straight. Then we'll click on OK. So it is going to clone the strict profile. And then we can make changes to the strict profile based on what we want. So let's click on strict profile. Okay, so everything is going to be enabled. We'll leave this as it is. So we'll come to antibots. For antibots, it's fine. Antivirus looks fine. We'll leave. Okay, so for antivirus, we'll, okay, we'll say that we want to protect incoming files from all interfaces. Or we can choose to inspect incoming and outgoing files. We want to protect web, FTP, and server message block. We want to process all file types. We want to enable deep inspection scanning. We want to enable archive scanning too. Okay, and then we'll come to IPS. So for IPS, let's see. We'll, we'll select this. Okay, let's say operator settings. Okay, so we're interested in anti in IPS, antibots, and antivirus. So having done all these configurations, then we're going to click on OK. Then we're going to come to policy, so our threat prevention policy, and then we'll apply that test strict profile that we created. So having done this, we're going to click on install policy. Okay, so we have two gateways here. Let's apply just on gateway one because it was just on gateway one that we enabled all those ips antivirus and antibots at the same time we can choose to update our ips so we can click on updates we'll click on updates now for ips so that it can get the latest malware and like your malware database okay so let's update the um package Okay, so as you can see, it is going to be downloading the latest updates package. 
then let's also um activate or let's update our antibot as well so we want this to be updated every two hours same thing with antivirus we want antivirus to be updated every two hours so as you can see policy installation was completed and the updates um okay let's come back to this it is still downloading the update package so we're going to run that test again okay so let's run our test so we're going to refresh this We'll check this box and we'll click on check security now. So just like we earlier said, CP check me can be used to, to test what you've done. This is checkpoints test portal. Okay, so the main reason why this is showing us all of this is because we have not created an application and URL filter in there is going to block access to malicious websites and than the rest of them. But let's wait for the results to, to be done. Okay, so to correct this, we'll come back to our policy and then we'll make some changes. So we'll come to application and URL filtering. We'll create a new rule and we'll say no malicious sites. So this will be for Windows Server. Destination is going to be all internet. Services and application, we're going to select, we'll search for malware. So we're going to block access to malicious websites. We're going to block access to Botnets. Okay, we're going to block access to phishing websites. We'll block access to hacking websites. We'll block access to high risk websites. We'll also block access to anonymizers. That is VPN. So having done all this, then we're going to install our policy. So in the next module, we are going to activate the other threat prevention blades, and then we are going to run our tests. So with this, we've come to the end of this particular module. I'll meet you in the next one. Thank you.